Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can use filters in Mail Merge. So I'm going to show you how you can filter in Word and how you can filter in the source data. In this example, it will be a Microsoft Access database. So first of all, let's get some data into this Word document. So when you do a Mail Merge, you go to the Mailings tab and you get this ribbon appearing where you start basically not in these two areas these are nothing to do with mail merge but start here mail merge and then you select the type of mail merge document that you want we're going to keep it quite simple letter and then you have to either type a new list or use an existing list or use outlook contacts so for this example i'm going to use this option use an existing list and it's in examples and it's going to be an access database table and it's called company records and then you get a list of the tables within that database and it's this one I want address details now nothing appears straight away but if you go to edit recipients list you can see all the records there now what you have down here is sort options and filter options which both um, take you to the same place on a different tab and this is what I want to look at here, filter. So I want to filter this list just to show um, cities that equal leads. So you go up to the top here and you can see you've got many different options. So if I select the city field equal to and then you've got not equal to etc etc and less than if it's a, a numeric figure. And then I'm going to type leads in there and that's all I want to do. You've got options here look and and you can change that to all and obviously you can see the different boxes as you look down they're all greyed out at the moment so I'm just doing that when I click OK it will only show me the records from Leeds and then I click OK and then I can insert the address block which is this one OK quick look at it preview and then you've got four records one two three four and there isn't any more so you filter the database and then you type in your letter, dear sir, etc. And whatever you want to type. And then you finish the merge, individual documents, all the records, and OK to that. And then you get one record per person. So there's four letters there. That's all there is. Just going to close that down, Control W. I'm not going to save that, but on this one. I want to take the filter off so I'm going back into edit recipient list uh, back to filter and then I'm just going to delete this one or set it back to the default which is none so it clears that off click OK all the records reappear OK again and now I should have more than the four records and you can see I do they're all there so you put the filter on do the mail merge and then take the filter off, which is something I would tell everybody to do when you're working with filters. So that's uh, one way of filtering records. This, this is in Word, obviously. But you can also filter from the source document. So if I go into Access, I've already created a query here called Leads. Uh, I'll just go, I'll delete this one and do that again. So let's just get rid of this one. Delete. No. Uh, yes, I do. Sorry. So we go create query. So there's a database tables uh, address details. That's the one we use. So I'm going to create a query. Bring that one in. And if I click on the top, double click on the top, I can drag them all down, which I want them all down. And then you need to put the criteria for this example underneath the city field. So you've got leads there. Click OK. I'll click underneath it. it. It identifies that as text, which is great. If I run this query, it shows me the same four records. So I'll, I know that works. Save. I'll call it leads. And then OK. Close it down. And the way it works from access is you click on the query or table. So that would be everything. And then I could filter it in Word. But now I've already filtered it. You go to external, external data and Word merge and then I want this in a new document and then OK and what happens is Word should start flashing at the bottom of the screen 
so you've got document one there if I open this just make that full screen go to it comes straight onto the mailings tab look I didn't have to go there when I go edit those are just the four records from access from the table I don't need to go into filter because it's already filtered for leads so the source data has been filtered process is the same insert the address block or if you wanted to insert individual fields you can do there they are preview them and then navigate through them and then finish the merge in the same way as before all doc all records in this case and then you get the four the same four records there so basically that's just two ways of looking at how you can filter a data source um, in word or how you can filter a data source in the source data whether it's an access table or an excel spreadsheet so that's all i wanted to talk about in this little video so hopefully you found that useful thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one